Hola Aries Aquarius, welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments. Be sure to post yours up. And then while you're waiting on yours, check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. First portion of this reading will be the Sun Moon traits of your combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. The second portion will be the Vimeo reading in the link below where I'll have a deeper interpretation of your cards with clarifiers. I'm going to be dividing the year up into four separate sectors, so let's get to your combination. So you, managing your, managing things or managing your life is pretty easy because you usually have an idea of what's going to happen down the road, okay? You have a really good vision of what the future kind of holds at all times. This knowledge or this kind of feeling that you have, it gives you an aura of confidence about you, a feeling of confidence to kind of like navigate through situations. Um, there are some things that you might want to work on in 2020. Um, one of them is feeling is being self-important. The other one is being very rigid, okay? You do have a tendency not to compromise and you do believe that you're right all the time. You definitely don't want to be wrong. Um, you're very fast. So you guys are like zoop, 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 zipping around with the Aquarius, uh, I'm sorry, the Aries Aquarius combination. And you're always kind of stymied because you can't figure out why people can't keep up with you, even though you're like zoop, zoop, at light speed. You can be moody, there's anxiety, you're fiercely independent, you like to carve your own path, you're always looking for an adventure. Um, you have a lot of energy, okay? You're filled with tons of energy. You are very decisive, so you have no problem making a decision. You're imaginative, um, but you usually, you concentrate your imagination in the future, okay? You're a forward thinker kind of person, not so much in the present, always thinking ahead. Um, you have a very fine-tuned intuition, and you're a humanitarian when it comes to people. You're very tolerant when it comes to humans. Um, but sometimes you are, not 100% aware of how other people are feeling because you are very um, assertive when it comes to yourself, okay? And this can cause you to feel um, appear arrogant, which is what we talked about um, in the beginning when we were talking about self-importance. You need to really kind of recognize ideas and feelings and thoughts of other people. Um, they need to be heard and you should be listening to them. You're very unpredictable and you have, you're very, um, the, you're outside though, you're surface, you're very charming, you put for a lot of charm. Again, you're an individualist and you guard, you, in, you're guard, you fiercely guard your individuality. You don't overly like to get involved with um, individuals or groups, like to, you know, kind of do your own thing. Careful because sometimes this can turn into a phobia, this this need for freedom and individuality. Um, and, and you worry about people infringing on you and whatnot. Like you need to have as much freedom as possible, but let's not go overboard about it. You're always interested in anything that needs to be examined, anything that's new, anything radical, because um, that always appeals to the futuristic and the inventive side of you. You're fun to be with. You do have a tendency to blow up a little bit, so you, your emotions can blow up. You can throw a temper tantrum here and there. Um, but th the thing is, it doesn't, <laughs> just as quick as it kind of like happens, it just fizzles out just as quickly. That doesn't mean it's okay, but it's nice to know it doesn't last that long. It's like I said, you're a quick moving energy. So you're going you're gonna to want to manage those um, when you blow up. You want to try and learn to manage those, and you want to be able to have some sort of release for it. Uh, you guys can be a little bit grumpy um, and you, you want to make an effort to avoid anything that's kind of uh, tense or anything that's stressful because um, that could that could kind of lend itself to you blowing up too okay so let's see what's going on for 2020 holy spirit angels divine guys universe can you please write your truth your wisdom your clarity and your insight for aries sun aquarius moons well, what do you see what do they need to know for the year 2020 any messages you have to help them reach your higher ground become closer to the universe and closer to divine for their greater good would be greatly appreciated what do you see for aries sun aquarius moons for january february march we have the boon card in the reversed and if this resonates consider personal reading just send me an email and we can set that up my rates my info my email are below eight of cups in the upright for April, May, June. 
Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook. Check me out on Instagram. Alrighty. Two of Swords are reversed. That's for July, August, September. Then if you could like, share, subscribe, and or donate in a link below, that would be fabulous. The Hanged Man are reversed. Okay, <laughs> this is interesting. So we're starting off and you're having some sort of clarity with the moon card. That's the card of Pisces. You see everything for what it is. The moon card, when it's upright, is you're seeing it in the dark and you're like, hmm, is that what that looks like? I'm confused. And, and you have to use a lot of your intuition to guide you. No need for that because the moon card, something's going to totally... What you see is what you get. It's going to be like, um, you know, at 2 a.m. when the lights come on in the bar. <laughs> so that you see everybody for what they are. That's what's going to happen. You're going to have clarity. You're going to exactly know um, how stuff has been impacting your life, why things have been working out the way that they have been. And you're really going to have an understanding of this. OK, and um, some of it's going to be ugly. OK, it's going to be the good. It's going to be the bad. It's going to be the ugly could be about a person affecting your life could just be your life in general april may june because of this clarity you have you're out okay so you're moving on this could be a job this could be a relationship this could be whatever it is you're on to something else because you realize because you abandoned it because you realize there's absolutely nothing there for you nothing is serving you anymore nothing is fulfilling you anymore nothing is in those cups and you're totally fine to walk away and just Look for something new, a new relationship, a new investment, a new career. Whatever it is, you're a done and finished. And and this doesn't have to be a physical thing. It can be a physical move where you're kind of moving away, but it could just be um, emotionally or mentally if just checked out. Um, so you could still be in a situation, but you know your mind's not in it anymore. Um, and the reason why I don't think it's physical, I think it's more mental or um, emotional, is because we have well, more emotional, I think, than anything. You just checked out. Um, did I say checked out enough for you? We have the Two of Swords here in reverse the period of July, August, September. And what I'm kind of getting from that is that now you kind of make a decision what you're going to do for a physical aspect, okay? So, you know, emotionally you've moved out of it here and you've decided it's time to move on. I'm done with this. But now you're like, well, what am I going to do? And the choices that you have available to you, you don't like either one. Because you know it's if you go this way, it's going to be negative. If you go that way, it's going to be negative. So you're just kind of stuck. And you're like, oh, I'm so confused. I don't know what to pick. Usually people, when they're presented with two things that they don't like, they don't want to pick either one. So, you know, if you're given a choice between, I don't know, drinking a cup of vinegar or eating ants, <laughs> which one are you going to choose? I'd go for the vinegar probably. But, um but, but that's what I mean. So you don't want to decide. You're resistant to deciding. But you have to. Because the hanged man here is saying, hey, it's time to decide. Um, this is The hanged man is where you can't kind of hang around anymore and not decide. You can't push the decision off anymore. Um, you can't wait in this situation forever. Or there's some kind of situation where you're not going to be allowed to wait forever. So this is where you need to come up with an ultimatum or you need to come up with a timeline. And you're going to figure this out. Um, some of you might be figuring out that you were holding on to something that wasn't, you know, it was just in your head. It was a fantasy. It was castles in the air or what have you. And once you have that realization, then, you know, you can say to yourself, okay, I need to figure out what I'm going to do about this. So at the end of the year, you are going to be making a decision. And it's really not going to be a choice um, about deciding upon it. You're going to have to. You're going to be pushed into a corner. Um, and there's not going to be any compromise involved with it, okay? It's going to be one of these decisions here. I either do this or I do that. I don't like both of them. But too bad. Here, you're going to have to decide. Now, I will say... <clears throat> The best way I think to approach this is for you to kind of make a list of pros and cons, like literally sit down and write everything in regards to these two decisions, look at the two lists and then figure out which one's the lesser of two evils is, is what would be my advice for you from what I'm seeing here. Okay. So, um, either, I mean, if this resonates, consider a personal reading and or click on the Vimeo link below. Um, and as I said before, check out your 2019 sun moon readings in my playlist. Ask me a question on instant go check me out on Facebook or Instagram. Um, like share, subscribe and or donate in the link below. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.